All right, um, I'm gonna make this about. It's gonna be part two on the patriotism and nationalism series. Uh, and I uploaded this before, but I think some sort of error occurred. Either that, or I fell asleep on my keyboard again, which is what happens when you're fucked up in the head, like me. But anyway, so I like to talk about is patriotism. I'm not talking about the love of this. Well, maybe I am. I'm talking about the value of the state. Not if this is irrational, because ordinarily this would be a red herring if someone brings it up. But just if it's theoretically possible or theoretically rational to like the state. Kind of how it's absurd for nationalism to exist because you can't value everyone based off some culture or geography or ethnicity since these are all huge terms and you won't be able to care about individuals in the millions. No matter how much you try and centralize this. But what about the love for the state? Is this different? Well that's what this video addresses. As you know, the state is the institution which I oppose. And I'm trying to think, is it rational to love the state or to have any value towards the state? Well, there's a lot of flag wavers. But what they see is their fantasy structure. A lot of times, most patriotists actually don't like the fantasy structure of their state. And they want to push forward their own fantasy structure, which they superimpose as being the fundamental one for all others. And I think that the United States does a really good job of this fantasy structure thing. I remember there was this poem I saw in English class. This guy who was angry. He wanted the state to be the thing that he wanted all along. And he was a black guy. And he, he did something that I thought was creative. He didn't make it just about civil rights. He didn't just make it about all that stuff. He also made it about the immigrants. He also made it about the people who are poor. And he really went on and on. I realized that this isn't, this wasn't really the mainstream fantasy structure, but it became the mainstream fantasy structure for the state that everyone would to become prosperous and that he imposed these values as the fundamental. We all know states are sustained more than just by force or consolidations, but by an ideology or ideology of a fantasy structure. That's what this guy captured perfectly. He wanted to make the state the way he intended it to be. He called it the country. But as you can tell, our, I already bridge state and country. They mean the same thing, except the country is kind of a hybrid between state and nation. So all in all, all value of the state means it's an irrational love for your fantasy structure. Not necessarily your country itself but the fantasy the fantasy behind that not the fantasy that's followed by everyone else not the fantasy that's it's desired by anyone else just yours or it could be collective you just fantasize what everyone else fantasizes but the key is it's all about the dark dreamers, the dark romantics. 
Alright, hopefully this one gets uploaded. I'm going to make one more video. And then that'll be the final tangent before I finish this four-part video series.